Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. People love reading about the crazy and outrageous home designs that the elites of the world have, especially if they're architectural fanatics. If you too are one of them, then look no further and keep watching as we dive into Top 10 Celebrity Homes. Number 10. Naomi Campbell's Russian Spaceship Now, we know what you must be thinking, but no, this isn't something we took out of a sci-fi movie. This home was commissioned by Naomi Campbell's ex-partner, Russian billionaire Vladislav Doronin. This gigantic home is located just outside of Moscow and was designed by architect Zaha Hadid. This extraordinary 2,650 square meter home is named Capitol Hill Residence and centers around two 22 meter high towers that resemble the mechanical alien invaders from the War of the Worlds. The towers offer stunning views of the cold Russian wilderness. Using a mixture of modern techniques and organic form, her abode appears on the outside as a cluster of shiny ponds nestled amidst a private surrounding of mature pine and birch trees located on the North Face hillside. The lower quarters of the dwelling boast the cozy, naturalistic feeling of merging with the hillside, whilst the upper sections float higher than the treetops to offer dynamic views across the forest. It seems like the perfect place for Campbell to live it up, who seems to be an alien-like ice queen herself. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 9. Robert Downey Jr.'s Windmill House You might expect the man behind Iron Man to live in a tech-savvy smart house with self-aware robots as well as live-in servants. But Robert Downey Jr. went for something much more whimsical or, dare we say, whimsical. This windmill home looks like it was teleported into the Hamptons right from the Dutch countryside. The 19th century building was originally constructed as a simple playhouse with no intent of having someone inhabit it. In a way, the Downey home is still somewhat of a playhouse, with its bright colors and a 15-foot-tall grasshopper statue in the front lawn. It's exactly what a kid's dream house would look like. He reportedly said that he wanted something that he hadn't seen a million times before. He didn't set out to do something conspicuously wacky, but he does enjoy a bit of oddity and fun, and being boring is entirely out of the question. Number 8. Bill Gates Xanadu 2.0 Would a list like this even be complete without mentioning the father of technology? Xanadu 2.0 is Bill Gates' never-ending property in Medina, Washington, with Gates being the second richest man in the world, with a net worth of $107.1 billion. You should expect Xanadu to be nothing less than impressive. Xanadu is about 66,000 square feet and is valued at a whopping $123.54 million. The house is chock full of crazy amenities, rarities, and amazing technology. Gates supposedly installed over $80,000 worth of computer screens throughout the rooms. Guests can simply touch the screens to change the artwork on the walls of the home to anything they want. The house also features a massive pool with an underwater sound system, so you can do laps and jam out to your favorite tunes. The immense library is also supposedly home to the Codex Leicester, Leonardo da Vinci's manuscript from the 16th century. Gates bought the manuscript at auction in 1994 for $30.8 million. This home is so incredible that people have actually paid $35,000 just to take a tour of it. Number 7. Nicolas Cage's Haunted House Nicolas Cage has a taste for the macabre. He once owned one of the most haunted homes in America, the LaLaurie House in New Orleans. The original owners of the house were socialite Madame Delphine LaLaurie and her husband, Dr. Louis LaLaurie. While the home is stunning from an architectural standpoint, the horrors of what happened under its roof would scare normally wealthy homeowners off. Madame LaLaurie was a butcher 
who would perform unimaginably evil experiments on her slaves. If the name LaLaurie sounds familiar, it's because Kathy Bates played the character on American Horror Story, Coven, in 2013. Cage lost the house back in 2009, but he was always proud of owning it. He once said that a lot of other people have beachfront property, but he has a ghost front property, and that whilst he himself has not experienced anything, he still likes that bit of mystery. And the house has such a mystery to it, as some of the stories about it are pretty horrific. Number 6. Katy Perry's Convent It's not every day that a global superstar has to fight with a group of nuns over a house. Whilst the convent, which was built back in 1927, is beautiful, the most fascinating thing about it is the three-year-long legal battle Katy Perry has had to go through to obtain it. In 2014, Perry agreed to pay the Archdiocese of Los Angeles $14.5 million for the property. Two nuns from the Order of the Sisters of the Most Holy and Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Sisters Rita Callanan and Catherine Rolls Holzman, were severely opposed to the sale. The sisters claimed that they were the owners of the property and wanted to sell it to the restaurateur Dana Hollister. The case ended up going to court and the judge ruled that the sisters had no right to sell the property. Hollister now owes Katie $1.57 million in legal fees, and the Archdiocese $3.47 million. The property is now rightfully owned by Katie, but Hollister plans on taking her $30 million offer and presenting it straight to the Vatican. Number 5. Elvis Presley's Graceland Who would have ever thought that one of the most recognizable and infamous celebrity properties in the world was purchased for only $102,500? In 1957, a 22-year-old Elvis Presley bought it for just that amount. The home that's located in Memphis is the second most visited private residence in the United States, with annual visitors amounting up to $600,000. It only falls behind the White House itself, so that's a really impressive feat. What makes the home truly stand out is that it's the final resting place of Elvis himself. After several attempts to steal his body from Forest Hill Cemetery in Memphis by robbers, his body was moved to the Meditation Garden, located on the Graceland property. Number 4. Leonardo DiCaprio's Eco-Friendly Resort By now, we're all well aware that Leo DiCaprio is an eco-warrior and loves championing and advocating for the conservation and preservation of all things related to our surroundings. He's also an extremely wealthy celebrity. And what do extremely wealthy celebrities like to do the most? Well, obviously, they like to buy islands. What did you think we were insinuating? Leo bought a small island off the coast of Belize over 10 years ago for about $1.75 million. Now, he's hoping to open his very own resort, Blacador Cay, which is a restorative island. While there will be many footprints left on the sandy beaches of the resort, carbon footprints aren't welcome on Leo's Island. The 36 bungalows and 36 estate homes will all be powered by renewable energy. Hence, him doing his part for the environment, one step at a time. Number 3. Michael Jackson's Neverland Ranch A list on the top 10 insane celebrity homes wouldn't be complete without the late Michael Jackson's Neverland Ranch. After the performer's death in 2009, the house remains unsold. The original asking price for the property was $100 million, but has since been devalued to $67 million. While Michael Jackson was still living at the ranch, he filled the 2,700-acre property with a small zoo filled with all sorts of animals, including tigers, giraffes, and chimpanzees, as well as a dance studio, a 50-person movie theater, a train station, and a massive amusement park. The amusement park had its own Ferris wheel, roller coaster, and bumper cars. Michael Jackson stopped living at the ranch in 2005 after there were child abuse allegations made against him. He believed that the authorities ruined the sanctity of the ranch after they raided it for evidence against him. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. 
We might even feature it on a future video. Number two. This lavish castle was built and designed by Charles Seeger in 2007. This one-of-a-kind castle was constructed using only the highest quality materials and furnishings. Chateau Artisan sits on 14 acres along with a private lake and royal gardens. It boasts the most magnificent grand-scale wrought iron gated entry, followed by mammoth wooden privacy gates, a long tree-lined drive, vast lawns, and a huge koi pond. It's been frequented by some of the wealthiest people in the world. More notably, Gabriel Union and Dwayne Wade even held their weddings there. Number 1. John Travolta's Jumbo Lair Whilst many of the homes on this list are ridiculously extravagant, none of them have their own airport. John Travolta's Jumbo Lair home, located in Ocala, Florida, has a 1.4 mile long runway at the back of the house. Actors typically like to make space in their home for their car collections, which Travolta has plenty of too. But instead, Travolta has two airplanes in his backyard, one of which is a 1964 Boeing 707-138B airliner, which was once part of the Qantas fleet. That is a commercial airplane, capable of flying around the world. He also owns a Gulfstream executive jet, because why not? The house even has its own control tower on the roof, and needless to say, he has his commercial pilot's license and is capable of operating both of these planes. Well, that concludes today's list of top 10 insane celebrity homes. Let us know in the comment section below which one of these was your personal favorite, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell icon.